na mga kaadik. I hope all of you are doing well. Here's another tutorial for you mga kaadik. You will see in this video, quick, easy, and clean replacement of the stock suspension of my electric scooter. A step-by-step -step replacement procedure. These are the 125mm spring shock suspension made up of high-strength aluminum and metal steel. Alright, let's start. First, I needed to remove the grab bar to have better access while performing the procedure. In order to keep the rear wheel hanging, I placed the toolbox under the scooter to elevate the rear wheel. This is a comfortable position when changing the stock suspensions or even the tire of the wheel where you can easily perform the procedure. You can also use any reliable flat object which is high enough and place the scooter over it. Next was removing the rear wheel. Gently pull the cable wire of the hub motor from the deck and extend a little bit. This to ensure that there is enough length of the cable so that it will be easy for you to take the wheel off from the wheel mounting bracket and to avoid the tendency of damaging the cable. I also removed the brake caliper. I started removing the rear wheel. Always mind the cable when removing or handling the rear wheel because you will never want to mess with the cable wire. Next was, I started unfastening the stock suspensions. I removed the bolts one by one and saved the thick washers. You need to keep these thick washers from the stock suspensions because you will be using these to fit properly the new shocks. I provided new bolts and nuts. These two are 60mm bolts and these are 50mm. Basically, I did not use the old bolts because those are short. The spring shock suspensions are a little bit wider than the stock suspensions. And I also provided washers. Then, I had to remove the mod guard to clear out the wheel mounting bracket. Make sure to align properly when stalling shock suspensions in order to have or achieve best experience while riding. Keep in mind to make sufficient distance or gap between the shock and the wheel mounting bracket. This to avoid the two components to hit each other when moving. The 60mm bolt goes to the deck and the 50mm goes to the wheel mounting bracket. I place enough washers and the thick one to ensure sufficient gap between the shock and the wheel mounting bracket. I started on the deck installing the shocks, tightened the bolts appropriately to be able to move the shocks during the installation. Next was on the wheel mounting bracket. Make sure the shocks are balanced or parallel to each other in order to achieve best result. I put back the mud guard right after I finish installing the new shocks. Finally, everything is set on place. I started returning the rear wheel. Loosely assemble and align the wheel properly. Once you get the right alignment, 
start tightening the nuts and make sure it's tight enough. Reinstalling the brake caliper was next. Once done, double check if the rotor can rotate without heating the brake pad. Last thing you need to do is to check the hardness and softness of the new shock suspension. I use adjustable wrench spanner to turn the adjuster ring. In order to get your desired hardness or softness, try to jump while on the scooter several times. And then turn the adjuster ring. Turn the adjuster ring clockwise to make the scooter feel stiffer or harder. To make it softer, turn the adjuster ring counterclockwise. Repeat the procedure until you get your desired hardness or softness. And finally, done replacing the shock suspensions. Now, here's my honest opinion. After riding my electric scooter with its new shock suspensions, I found that the new shocks are pretty decent. And of course, the new shocks look more stylish than the stock suspensions. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to support my channel by liking, commenting, and sharing all my videos. At syempre, maraming maraming salamat. Muli ko yung naligaw sa channel ko.